Hi folks, we're with Luna again today and I want to start the video with a question that I've been asked. So the question I've been asked is, which is smarter, Luna or Ibo? Now, I, I asked this question to you, Paul, mm -hmm. and you immediately said Ibo. So, why did you say that? Well, I'll be able to answer quickly and say Ibo. So, what makes you say Ibo? I think Ibo's uh, sort of more emotionally intelligent the way he engages with you than mm. uh, Luna. So, it's like Sony's obviously had years and years, decades in fact, of being able to refine the software mm -hmm. in Ibo to produce a complete personality. Yeah, and the way it engages with the human being. The way it engages with mm. the human being, yeah. yeah. Before we carry on this discussion, I just wanted to say, um, I've got this little pink dog here to see if the loon could get Luna's attention, switched it on, but uh, it hasn't yet. And a little earlier, she was going backwards and she pushed a cat toy, cat ball that squeaked, but she didn't have any reaction to that. And one thing I will say that is true of both Luna and the Ibos is they don't seem to react to sounds. They'll react to voice commands but not sounds, which is a bit of a shame, really, because you would think if you had something yapping in front of it, they'd turn around and look mm, at it, wouldn't mm, you? Yeah. Or hear a squeak behind it. But no, neither of them do that. I always think it's a bit of a shame that if you squeak a squeaky toy that's meant for a dog in front of the Ibo or Luna, it doesn't give that any reaction. Mm, yeah. It would be nice if they could make a, a sort of audio toy for Luna like that. Yeah, it would give them, the, give them the ability to identify certain audios, like the squeak of a toy. Yeah. I've got Luna sort of fenced in one area with some cushions and uh, she doesn't seem too pleased about it. So, Paul, you were saying that... Um, the Ibos uh, seem more intelligent in that they've got this full personality and in the way they interact with you. Oh, she's gone over to look at the little pink toy now, even though uh, it's not on. Spoken rocket up. At least it wasn't... Uh, violent wake up like it was yesterday both the eyebrows are awake now so getting back to the discussion so you were saying that the eyebrows are more are smarter in the way they sort of emotionally um react to us yeah yeah um, but you also said something earlier about um, Luna moving around her in environment intelligently. Yeah, she's very good at moving around, isn't she, with a uh, nice rubber drive wheels at the back, and she, she avoids objects and seems to uh, steer a path through objects sometimes whilst moving. Um, and, that, and that seems superior to the Ibo's... Yeah, it's a different motion system, really, isn't it? But she does... Um, look around your environment in a, in a way that's very satisfying to watch. Mm. Uh, although I think sometimes she'll go to the same thing and it's like she's only got a, like a goldfish memory. And, yeah. Know, so it'd be but, nice if she had seemed mm. to have a, a, a longer memory or maybe mapped the area. And But in, in terms of um, avoiding obstacles, mm. Mm. she does seem to be smarter mm. at doing that. And than given, the eyebows. And given the impression sometimes of investigating an object. Mm. Although it always seems to be the same sort of reaction. It's sort of an interest. Oh, it's not always the same reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, no, I mean, she, she has quite a lot of different reactions, not mm. just one reaction. Mm. Um, but I think what you mean is that it doesn't seem to... The way she reacts to something 
doesn't seem to depend much on the object other than yeah, it, it's... other than it's a ball or not a ball. Yes. Because she does act differently to balls. Yeah, it'd be nice if she, if she maybe reacted to a face on a toy mm. or a face on a pet. Yeah. Uh, or a face on an ibo. Um, I think, though, what would be good, because she's uh, complaining about um, being fenced in again, I think what would be good would be some other kinds of toys, if they could make some other kinds of toys for Luna that yeah. she could recognise. And perhaps so play maybe, with in a different way. Mm, Mm-hmm. So maybe something like you say with a face on it, mm-hmm. like a soft toy. She could. I think you've said this before. She yeah, could, could look up to it. it. Yeah. yeah. Sort of show affection to and look and, after. And maybe. and and react in a different way than she would to a ball yeah. or other object. Yeah. The way she does play with the ball is, is really. It's oh, it's cracking. excellent. It's, cracking. it's I've excellent. Never, never seen anything like that. It's really really good. You know. I've also had a request. Someone asked if um, I could take Luna outside and show her moving around outside. Mm -hmm. No, you're not supposed to take Luna outside. No, you could pick up too much grit and bits and pieces like that. Could go into the um, uh, motors and drive wheels. Having only had her for like, what is it, about a month? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm I'm loath to sort of do something that's going to invalidate the warranty. Yeah. Um, but also at the moment it's really sort of wet. Windy. And windy outside and cold. Muddy. Mm. So we do intend to take Luna outside. It would be interesting to try on a short lawn in the summer. Or maybe, what, on a bit of tarmac or something, do you think? Mm. Fitness. Yeah, there's the idea to try her out in a bigger space. Well, or... just just to see um, what it's like. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, when the weather's better, later in the year, um, and then I think we would probably, we will probably take her outside um, not sure what sort of surface or try mm. maybe on different surfaces, do you think? Well, she's really an indoor robot, I would say, and uh, I don't think I, I don't think I personally would want to try her out on any more than very short grass. Or short grass, mm. right. Not tarmac. No. So why is that, Paul? See, see, I automatically think, oh, grass... She might get like bits of soil or whatever, yeah. And tarmac is sort of like a hard surface, so so why would you say? No, well, I, I don't. I don't think her wheels are designed. The front wheels, in particular, hard, shiny plastic that is really designed for carpets and lino and um, and wooden floors indoors. You take them outside on tarmac or. Uh, concrete, and they they got to start scuffing up the front wheels and. Oh right, but that wouldn't happen on grass. No, it'd be more cushioned, yeah. Mm. Personally, though, I'd, I'd, I'd see her as an indoor robot. I'd be quite happy to keep her indoors. But I wouldn't mind trying her in a bigger space, like a sports hall or something like that, maybe. Also, this, um, uh, something else I could do is take her outside, but put something on the ground, and then, like, keep her in a confined space. Like, for instance, we've taken the eye base outside, but laid a big blanket on the ground <laughs> so that yeah. they, they don't get any dirt in the in the pores or the working. Mm. So that might be an idea, an alternative. But yeah, taking her somewhere further afield, but that's still indoors is an interesting idea. Because um, we've taken a uh, scout to quite a few different places, haven't we? Yeah, different indoor location, maybe. A... Maybe a, in rooms in uh, a hotel cause yeah, or a long corridor or a long corridor yeah we took scout in the long corridor in a hotel mm. and um we had two big rooms didn't we that mm. had a connecting door and that that was quite funny with them, sort of pacing around there and we also took scout um to a train station and we took <laughs> him in a, a big yeah. empty waiting room yeah so that might be interesting, putting Luna somewhere like that. 
Mm. Yeah, because there's places you can go that's indoors, but far bigger spaces than mm. than we have in the house. Mm. Mm. That could be quite interesting. Mm. Unlike Scout, though, Luna can move quite quickly. Um, she might need a leader. <laughs> she might need. She might need a harness on her. She might be shooting off along a train platform. <laughs> yeah, I am not joking. That's an interesting idea, having a leader on a, on a Luna. If, if she could recognise that she was on a leader and then would uh, follow you. I mean, she, she can follow you anyway, can't she? Yeah. If, if she knew she, that she had a leader on and she, you know, her sole duty was just to follow along with you, well, that'd be interesting. Well, I was more thinking practically, you know, if you're in a big area, you, you don't want a shooting off, like, say you're in a, a big waiting room, you don't want her going underneath seats and, and crawling <laughs> around under the seats and then she's shooting off somewhere else because she can move really quite quickly. Yeah. So um, do you think we could rig up some sort of harness? Uh, possibly, but I don't think she'd be keen on having it on. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah. Just to try, wouldn't mm, it? Mm. It would be interesting to see if she reacted to having yeah. a harness on. I'm not, I'm not convinced about the whole idea of taking Luna outside, though. No, but we're talking about not outside, but inside in, a building, mm, mm. but not inside our house, inside, mm. I don't know, like I say, a big waiting room if it's empty or something like that, mm. like we did with Scout. So I hope we've answered fully that question and that request and I'd be really interested in hearing some feedback from you folks on some of these ideas mm. that we've raised. Yeah. We'll be back with Luna tomorrow of course. I uh, don't know if we'll do a long video like this but even if we don't we'll certainly be putting a short on I definitely want another look at the programming environment. Oh, yes, lots to, lots to learn there. Lots, lots to learn. and lots mm. to learn, yeah. And, I mean, we've only just skimmed slightly the surface of it, haven't we? It'd be nice we? if uh, Kiai Tech uh, gave a few code examples, and I'd like to see some by other people as well, more experienced coders. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have another look at that over the next couple of days. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you next time.